Hey everyone, welcome to Under the Covers. I'm CJ, and I've been waiting for quite some time to say this, but it's summer vacation now. And you know what that means. It means it's time for my summer reading list, 2012 edition. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do is run down my books that I'm gonna, that I have on my summer reading list. I usually pick 10, and I read about 7 of them, and then I read a few books that aren't on the list because they'll, you know, they, they uh, pique my interest or whatever. So this year, or this summer, I decided to add 15 books to the list. And I'm just going to read all of those 15 and not, not read anything else. So without any further ado, first book on the summer reading list. Oh, this is in no particular order, by the way. First book, um, I Am Legend by Richard Matheson. Um, I'm actually going to review this book with a friend of mine. He's going to come on the show with me, and we're going to review it together. His name is Chad. He's a good man. Um, the second book is The Mysterious Benedict Society and the Perilous Journey by Trenton Lee Stewart. I read the first book last summer. Um, it was really, it's really good. It's really funny. It's um, it's kind of a kid's like middle school, like Harry Potter type book, but um. You know, there's, there's like puzzles in it and stuff. It's really cool. It's really interesting. And this is actually the second book in the series. I believe there's four books. So I'm excited to read that one. Um, this is a twofer here. This is Percy Jackson and the Olympians series, the fourth and fifth book. Uh, Battle of the Labyrinth, which is the fourth book. And then the fifth book is the last book in the series. It's called The Last Olympian. And I've been slowly progressing my way through this series and I really enjoy it. Um, I'm a big fan of Greek mythology being half Greek, less than half Greek, and uh, it's always been an interest of mine. And these books put a more modern spin on Greek mythology and the way they weave it into into um, modern life is really interesting and it's by Rick Rodan. He's also got a new um, mythology series out. I believe it revolves around Egyptian mythology if I'm if I'm correct so I'm looking forward to reading these two books um, next book is Will Grayson Will Grayson by John Green and David Levithan and um, I'm actually reviewing one of John Green's books um, for my next review The Fault in Our Stars and I'm really interested in reading this because um, it's written by two authors and um, Last book I read like that was Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist, which I believe David Levithan also wrote, well, at least half of, and I really enjoyed that book. I'm a big John Green fan, so I'm assuming I'm going to love this book. If not, I'm going to be very disappointed. Next book, Scott Pilgrim's Finest Hour by Brian Lee O'Malley, and I've, um, I read the first one and I did a review on it, and I think that's kind of unfair because it's the first book in a complete series where the story doesn't end. Um, like in at the end of the Harry Potter book, the first Harry Potter book, yeah, I'm re referencing Harry Potter a lot today. Anyways, at the end of the first Harry Potter book, you know it's setting up for the next one, but there's still some closure there, I guess. And there's really no closure at the end of the first Scott Pilgrim book. You kind of have to read through the entire series to, to get to get that closure. So I think after I finish this, I might um, revisit the Scott Pilgrim um, books and do a review on them. I got this from my local library. Um, also, I don't recommend buying each book because... At $12 a pop for six books that only take you an hour, 45 minutes to read, um, it just seems too pricey. So I maybe get them at the library, which is what I did after the first one. Uh, next book is the book I'm currently reading, Divergent by Veronica Roth. And um, there's a little sticker on here that says it's the Goodreads Choice Award favorite book. So um, there you go. Um, I will definitely be reviewing this because a lot of people are reading it. And if a lot of people are reading it, it means a lot of people want to know about it, which means I'm going to get mad YouTube hits if I review this. And then I'll be up there with, uh, you know, famous YouTube people. 
Anyways, the next next book on the summer reading list is Watership Down by Richard Adams. I've never read this book before. I've heard great things about it. And uh, it says it's America's number one bestseller at one time. So I'm assuming it's good. Um, it's referenced in the, in the TV show Lost. And that's actually the first time I've ever even heard of this book. And supposedly it's pretty popular. Shows how much of a reader I am. Actually, I read quite a bit. But anyways, um, Watership Down by Richard Adams. Next on the list is The Big Sleep by Raymond Chandler. And um, I'm looking forward to reading this book as well. Um, it's a mystery novel. Next book on the list is The Stranger by Albert Camus. Um, my friend Jason Weaver recommended this book to me when I first started my YouTube channel. And I kept saying... Um, I'm going to review it next, I'm going to review it next, but then I started reading all these books for school, and then I was reviewing those books. But don't worry, Jason, I will be getting to this book this summer, and I will do a review for it. Um, so if you're still watching my channel, um, that's for you, pal. Uh, the next book on my list is The Sirens of Titan by Kurt Vonnegut. Um, I've never read this book. I believe this is his first novel. Um, yes, this is Kurt Vonnegut's first novel, and I've never read it before. I've read Breakfast Champion, Slaughterhouse-Five, Cat's Cradle, um, and I've never read this book, so it's on the summer reading list. Um, next book on the list is by Charles Romilotti. It's called Pariah, and that's the cover. Uh, Charles Romilotti is the author of my favorite book of all time, called Salad Days, and um, he also wrote this. I guess it's part of a serial novel, which is, you know, a few different smaller novels together in one big novel. I'm not too sure of the term serial novel. Maybe I just uh, said what it was. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, let's continue this list here. Um, next is this bulky monster, um, which... Will probably only take a couple hours to read. Um, Wonderstruck by Brian Selznick. Not to be mistaken with the greatest song of all time, Thunderstruck by ACDC. No, not the greatest song of all time. Um, anyways, Wonderstruck by Brian Selznick. He is the author of The Invention of Hugo Cabaret. Um, as you know, his main to that movie, Hugo. Um, as you know, book won a lot of awards. Um, I happen to love The Adventure of Hugo, Hugo Cabaret. Um, it's one of my favorite books of all time. Um, I got some ink on my body as a tribute to the book, um, just to the amazing drawings that are in it. Anyways, um, next on the list, I don't want to. I don't want this uh, video to be too long. I'm trying to get it under ten minutes. Anyways, next on the list. Tender, Hellfi Tender is Hellfire by Joe Mino, and I actually reviewed um, Hairstyles of the Damned by Joe Mino a while ago, and that book was amazing. Um, it's also one, I, I keep saying a lot of these books are my favorite books of all time, but um, that book really is, um, and this is another book by him. I believe it's his second, oh no, this is his first novel, so let's see where he uh how far he progressed as an author from hairstyles from that to hairstyles and the last book on my list is i am number four by pitticus lore lore i don't know how to say the last name um it, it's it was made into a movie so i'm gonna read the book and then i'm gonna watch the movie and if the book sucks i'm not gonna watch the movie but if the book is good, I'll watch the movie, and then the movie will suck. It's a uh, it's a vicious cycle, if you think about it. If you don't like the movie, you don't want to read the book. But if you love the book, you don't want to watch the movie. What can you do? Um, I'm more of a book guy myself, so I'm going to read the book. Anyways, um, I know I said I was going to review The Fall in Our Stars by John Green, but I let someone borrow it. And I still haven't got it back yet. So, girl who borrowed it, um, I need it back. So hurry up and finish it. 
It only took me two days to read it, and I'm a busy man. So, get on it. If you watch this video, um, let me know what you think of the book. <laughs> Anyways, um, once I get the book back, I'm going to... I'm going to review it. I might post a video before before that, just a fun video I've been thinking about doing. So stay tuned for that as well. Anyways, those were my 15 books. I believe it was four. No, it was 15 books. And um, those that's my summer reading list. If you've read the, any of those 15, let me know what you think in comments. Um, also, recommend me some books too. Because I have a feeling I'm going to get through quite a bit of these pretty quick, considering some of them are quick reads. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. If you, if you like the video, hit the like button. Leave some comments. Subscribe at the top if you're not already. Um, thanks for tuning in. Later.